Zen, and I'm a licensed acupuncturist and I'm also the owner of Body Option Clinic in Vancouver, BC. So this video, I would like to talk about one in really interesting topic. I personally find it really interesting uh, because I've gathered so many feedbacks from years of practice with my patients. Um, majority of patients come to see me for chronic pain or some sort of unresolved pain, discomfort, aches, inability to do certain things. So um, from my personal experience, most people like to come see me at the same time they hate seeing me because the method I use is so painful. And during the session, people cry, um, people scream, and you sometimes people, they, they pass out and they wake up again in pain and they pass out again. So that happens all the time. I'm not talking about the passing out, mostly screaming and shouting. And so I personally believe that in order to achieve a greater outcome in a chronic condition, the only one way to, maybe not the only one way, I'll say there's a better way to deal with it is to face your own pain, okay? To face your pain at the level where you can see it eye to eye to your own pain. What do I mean by that? So before I get into this, I'd like to introduce an idea. It's an ideology. It's something that we all have, but then we don't necessarily acknowledge that, which is our relationship to pain. Okay, think about it. We have relationship to basically everything. We have a relationship with our parents, our siblings, our cousins, friends, co-workers, and we have relationship with our body, my hand, my head, my hair, and, and also clothes, personal belongings, and something intangible would be like our emotions and our spirit as well as our energy. So pain is one of those things that's intangible. You can't see, but you know that you have relationship with. So long story short, during my session, I personally have this belief of inflicting the pain to someone can help them to bring their awareness to their own biggest fear, which is pain. And while they're facing their own pain, they get to experience the full spectrum of the discomfort, the sadness, the all the negative emotions or positive emotions. So it can be a combination of both or one way or the other. So most people have experienced a greater sense of relief after they have experienced this inflicting pain afterward. They all feel much lighter. The pain has been drastically reduced or non-existent and they cultivate, start to cultivate a better relationship with their own body because the pain is no longer a threat. It's no longer a struggle in their life. So now think about it. We all have relationship with pain, but I believe, at least from my observation, most people hate their own pain. They hate to have pain. They hate to admit that they are in pain or some short. So what do most people do? So people like to resolve the pain. They like to make the pain go away. They take painkiller. They do things that can help to numb the pain, drugs, sex, um, changing their environment, and so on and so forth. Different ways to help them to escape the pain in their body, which is something that we all have innately. So all I can say is, the pain is an, it's not a scapegoat system. 
is something that we all possess when we were born, something that we all take, take that for granted in a way. Because pain is a system for us to know what's the true danger, what to do, whether you're in a dangerous situation or whether you need to take any immediate action to get your way out of it. So in general, I personally believe that we can cultivate a way better relationship with pain. We don't necessarily need to beat the pain up. We don't necessarily need to see pain as an enemy because they should be our best friend. And we can totally cultivate a relationship to work with pain, to use pain, to discover a deeper issue in ourselves so we can fix it so that the pain would no longer be your enemy. So I've created a quiz that can help you to figure out uh, there's a four different archetypes of pain, of relationship with pain. So once you have, um, well, I will put the, I'll, I'll put the link in the under this common session so you can go to the website and just fill out, fill out the questionnaire and you can get to know your pain style so that you know what to do with it. And at least you, you're getting one step closer to seeing the true self. So I look forward to see you next video. I hope this video is helpful. Take care.